Hi, welcome. This is Christopher with Four Gates once again, welcoming you back to a little brief discussion about creating a sacred space and a place to meditate. So I've arranged for you some things to create a shrine, but let me first tell you why it's important. A little space or a large space in your home, in your environment where you live is so important because it builds an anchor, it builds kind of the core or the hub of who you are in your world. It's like the heart of you. So having that space draws you back to do meditation, prayer, study, and it really, really focuses you when you're there. It get, creates a transition and it also creates a constant source of blessing. So please consider doing this. Now let's talk about what you want to include in your shrine. You don't have to be from any special tradition. You can be a Christian, a Buddhist, a Hindu, or from any tradition. You can have a sacred space. It really is up to you how you arrange it. This is just my version for me. But I wanted to share it with you so you could see what inspires me. So the first thing I have included is light. I have a candle. I love light because it's a symbol of wisdom, the wisdom both within you and within our nature, and the wisdom of the divine or of God or of the Buddha figures or whomever. So light is wonderful. I have a stick of incense. This is a Japanese stick incense, which burns for about 20 minutes, so that is wonderful because it gives me a timer of about 20 minutes. It also adds scent, so you have another sense involved. You have light, you have the scent of incense. And then I've included a few statues or pictures, uh, things that inspire you, things that really give you a sense of connection to yourself and to life. This is a meditating Buddha figure. And then I also have a picture of one of my teachers, Garchan Rinpoche. He's been a great source of inspiration and guidance for me and teaching. I have one of my family members, my son Alexander. I like to include that. And then a picture of Tara. This is Red Tara. Tara is a source of compassion and kindness and wisdom and um, kind of loving kindness from the feminine aspect. So she, that's a practice I do and she inspires me as well. So these are all sources of inspiration. And then I have a bell to open and close the meditation. And I have my mala for recitation of prayer or mantra. And one can include other things. You could have your text here. You could have other types of offerings. But this is kind of a general start and gives you an idea of what you can do. You can add, you can subtract. This is a wonderful place for you to start. I highly encourage you to do this. Blessings to you in your practice. This is Christopher with Four Gates saying goodbye for now and blessings. Hope you're well.